Okay, in chapter 3, we talk about pipe fitting. So, what does pipe fitting do? Okay, what does pipe fitting do? We see fittings are fabricated piece of pipe that are used to make changes on direction, branch from the main pipe to make a reduction in line size. So, these are what pipe fitting is. So, like I said, pipe fittings are are used in order to change direction, make a branch, or reduce the size. Note, after you have done your pipe thickness calculation, you, you know the schedule or the pipe thickness that you are going to use in order to design that line. The All you just need to know is that every fittings that must be used must be the same as the as must have the same wall thickness as the pipe that you choose to use. So we have different kind of pipe fittings, which are the elbows and elbow. We have a 90 degree elbow and 45 degree elbow. And in the 90 degree elbow, we have the long radius elbow, short radius elbow, metered elbow, and reducing elbow. So let's talk about the 90 degree elbow first. So the 90 degree elbow um, is, is simply um, a pipe fit that, uh, that allows you to change the pipe direction in 90 degrees. Yes, in, in 90 degree. Either it is going west, it is going south, it is going east, it is going north, it's going up or it's going down. Elbow makes you to change all of those directions. So that's just it. So a different type of elbow that we have, we have a long radius elbow, we have a short radius elbow, we have a reducing elbow, and we have the metered elbow. So let's talk about the long radius elbow. The long radius elbow, mostly uh, during the dimensioning, during manufacturing, the end, the center to end uh, uh, radius is the same is the same thickness one times the nominal pipe size one and the half times the nominal pipe size why for the short radius elbow the radius like you see this uh, uh, a drawing here now that okay this is the radius this is the nominal pipe size so the radius from year to year is the same thing which is from center to end is the same thing as one times one 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 whole number one over two times the nominal pipe size like now if the nominal pipe size here now is four, the radius from the center to to end connect to end is six. So like here now you can see four here is six. So that is how it is. That is how it is be calculated. That is how you, you know that this is long radius elbow. So the short radius elbow is the radius is the same thing as the nominal pipe size. Yes. So that is just it. So. The next one we are going to talk about is the reducing elbow. The reducing elbow is used in order to, just as the reducer, to reduce the size of pipe. But uh, one of the inlets, like one of the outlets has the normal pipe size and the other outlet has the reduced pipe size. So that's just how it is. So, um, but for this muted elbow, this muted elbow is used in the industry let me uh let me here show you guys what the muted elbow is like i know that most of you have seen it in the industry that uh, when they use it to connect to to uh when when such is being used to to make uh, an an insulation line that's when that elbow is being, that's when that muted elbow is being used or muted pipe as, at all is mostly used. Well, I'm coming, my network is having an issue. So let it come up and then it will show, you will see what, uh, what I meant by the muted elbow there. So, um, having network, network issues. So now, that is what the muted uh, elbow is. You, you, it, 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 it is not something that you buy as an elbow. It's something that you create as an uh, as an 
elbow using aluminum floor. We have network issues, but uh, we it, it will come up, don't worry. Okay. This is what, uh, what is called meted elbow. Now, some part of time, it is being constructed. It is not something that you buy. It is actually being constructed based on the based on the tones or the angle that they want to cover or something like this now, yes. Based on what you want to cover, so you, you just have to make it. Sometimes it can be square like this, or sometimes like this, or sometimes more of this. So it's it's not something that you that you tends to buy. It's something that you tends to fabricate yourself. So that's and that's something about limited elbow. It's not something you buy. It's something you fabricate to make sure that it fits in into the work that you are that you are uh, that you are. Um, actually doing like this is a two word three word four word five word six word seven word eight word method um, so it's it's a very um, uh, strong thing so th that is just it for method herbal and also we have other form of um we have other form of pipe fittings which is the word t now the word t now uh is um is divided into two we have the normal street t or equal t we call it street t or equal t where that all the outlets are of the same pipe diameter why the re the reducing t or reducing wet t is two of two of them two of the outlets have the same diameter but one doesn't have same diameter mostly those ones are the header line have uh, the same diameter while the ones are the branch branch connection have the smaller diameter so like now this is what i mean i meant by this now this is a 12 by 12 equal t now this is a 12 by 8 reduced t now this diameter and this and this diameter here are the same, but this one here is not the same as them. This one is reduced, but this one now this this and this are the same. So so that's why this is an equal t. This is a reduced t. So and this is the only it is the only the other line here that is always tends to be reduced. These two can never be reduced. So that's just it. So that's one thing and. This T, they are they are used to create branch connection, just branch connection to the header pipe. Like you will see like a line that is just going and there is another line that just tap from that line to another system that is a branch, a branch line. And we make use of T to actually make that branch connection. So that's just T. And now there is what we call storm in. A storm in is is uh, uh, is uh, a storm in. A storm in is uh, a storm in is like um you have a pipe and you want to make a branch connection but you are not making use of the a wet t so that's when you storm in into the pipe just as the word goes storm in like like you you want to go into somebody's house <laughs> instead of you to knock on the door like i said okay please can i come in you you decided to, to just barge in now barging in is what is referred to to as storm in into that line when you don't have a t to create that branch connection like a door you, you didn't even knock it because that t looks like you are knocking to seek permission in but now you are just storming in creating 
a hole into the header line in order to connect to that particular line. That is when you storm in into the line. So most of the time, pipes that they use to storm in to the line are of the same diameter or different outer diameter. So what do we use in order to storm in into a line? That is when storm in reinforcement comes in. Some require reinforcement pad, some require wedding saddle, some require OLED. This OLED is the major one that is being used in order to create a storm in. And storm in are being used most of the time for lines where wet tea, where the wet tea, where the wet tea standard is not uh, is not found on that line, then you create a storm in by either using an OLED. And OLED comes in different form. We have the word OLED. We have the word OLED that you put the OLED on the header pipe and then you wear your normal storm, your normal pipe on the OLED to create a branch connection. That is for the OLED. This, uh, that is for the OLED. And OLED comes in different form. Now, this is what an OLED looks like now. This is the part that you wear to the pipe. You open this pipe, create this connection. You wear it straight on the pipe. And then the other pipe that you want to connect with can connect on this. So that's where you create. That's how you create a branch connection with and OLED. So, so uh, during our de design, I, I, I will tell you where to use T and where to use OLED. So now, this is uh, this is uh, the word OLED, the circle OLED, the thread OLED. Like, like the saying goes, word OLED, you you wear it to the pipe. Circle OLED, you it requires circuit connection to the pipe. Thread roulette, you thread it to the pipe. Lat roulette, this is a form of a word roulette, but it is lightly installed. Why this one is an air bullet, you install it to an air bullet. So now, the next one is reducers. What are reducers used for? Like I said in the beginning, reducers are used to reduce the size of pipe from one size to another size. And we have two types of these reducers. We have the concentric reducer and the eccentric reducers. And I will tell you how both of them are being used based on their orientation. So concentric reducer have a common center line. Why eccentric have a offset center line, an offset center line. So let me explain where it is good to use both of them. Now, concentric reducers is used when when you want to maintain a, a proper center line in that line, like for example, pump discharge no pump discharge line, pump discharge line. That's where concentric reducers are mostly used. Why for eccentric reducers, it is used to maintain constant bottom of pipe and either flat on top or flat on bottom orientation at pump suction. And it is used to maintain constant bottom of pipe for pipe rack or for pipe support. That is where you use both of them. And during our class, I will tell, I will make sure you guys know when to use it and how to use it. So that's just it. So this is two pictorial view of the eccentric and concentric reducers. So that is just it. And the next one is wet cap. What is wet cap used for actually? Wet cap is used to end, end the pipe or seal a pipe. That okay, that pipe ends there. We don't have any fissure plans for that pipe. You just end the pipe. You put a cap. A cap makes it to end that particular line. It does not have any fissure plans or anywhere you could go again in the fissure. You just want to end that particular line. That's when you use cap. Don't worry about uh, thing. another stuff that is used to end line, but that one 
issues when that line has a continuous like you want to continue the line in the future that's when you use uh, such a connection but for now when we go to flanges i will explain it better there so that is just it so that's how we use cap then there are all that fittings also that are used for threaded and screw red connection which involve union you all know what union is union is mostly is mostly used with plastic and carbonized uh, pipe in order to create two connections between two pipes plug plug is like the cap it is used to plug is like the cap it is used to make uh, to it is you you used to close that line and uh, and uh, and uh, coupling also is used also uh, create connection between two pipes also pipe nipple pipe nipple is is also is mostly for instrument line to uh, in order to come to to to, to um to uh, enable a male to a male or fem or female connection uh, between um um between a fitting and also uh, an instrument such as pipe gauge that's when we use the pipe nipple it is either where they threaded or socket word connection also so that's when we use the pipe nipple so all this sewage connection can be in form of reducers but mainly they don't use it that much unless it is for a socket word connection so so um there are also type of other fittings that can be that are cast iron or plastic that are also Use, but that's not uh, part of our main topic for today so we stop here and move to chapter four that talks about flanges but this uh, this where we stop for now so that's just it <laughs>